Welcome to this educational series on high-speed comparators and applications with Texas Instruments. My name is Jonathan Nguyen, an applications engineer with the Comparators product line. Today, I will be giving a refresher on comparator output types, introducing how LVDS technology works in relation to comparators and why it is needed, and briefly discuss the type of applications where a comparator with LVDS outputs is needed. Comparators are generally divided into two main types, based on the design of their output stage. These two types are called open drain, or open collector, and push pull, also known as totem pole, drain drain, or collector collector. Open collector comparators are built with bipolar transistors, while open drain comparators are built with MOSFETs. The comparator on the left has an open collector output, with an output stage consisting of a single NPM bipolar transistor. When this transistor is on, it actively syncs current from collector to emitter and pulls the output voltage V out down very close to ground or zero volts. How close the output can swing to ground depends on the collector to emitter saturation voltage. When the transistor is off, its collector looks like high impedance and has essentially no effect on the output voltage. In this case, a small amount of current is sourced from V plus through the pull-up resistor and V out rises to the V out high level or logic high. Without this pull-up resistor, V-out could float to an unknown state. Push-pull comparators, on the other hand, have an output stage consisting of a pair of output transistors. Either the upper or lower transistor in the pair turns on and actively sinks or sources current in order to drive the output high or low as needed. In the example on the right, the P-channel upper FET turns on to source current and push the output high, while the N-channel lower FET turns on to sink current and pull the output low. No pull-up resistor is required for this type of comparator. For certain applications that require data throughput in the gigabit per second range, the speed at which an open drain or push-pull output responds at can be too slow. The reason why open drain outputs can be too slow for high-speed applications is due to the imbalance in the rise and fall times due to the output transistor transitioning from a high Z state to actively sinking current as well as the RC time constant from the pull-up resistor that slows down the edges of the comparator output. Meanwhile, the fastest push-pull comparators on the market are currently limited to 2.5 nanoseconds propagation delay with 500 megabit per second data throughput. The reason for this limitation can be explained by how current is related to both capacitance and voltage, where I equals C dV dt. For a given capacitive load, Having an output swing anywhere from ground to 3.3 volts or 5 volts with fast rise and fall times less than 1 nanosecond require a large amount of current that the comparator output stage is not capable of syncing or sourcing. For applications that require even more speed than the best push-pull comparators in the market offer, using an LVDS output can be beneficial. LVDS, which stands for Low Voltage Differential Signaling, offers a low voltage differential swing of just 350 millivolts, allowing for fast rise and fall times and can achieve up to four gigabit per second data rate with just 250 picoseconds of propagation delay. LVDS is a technical standard for high speed signals that offers low jitter, low skew, high noise immunity, and minimal EMI due to its differential line. You can think of LVDS simply as a physical medium that transports a signal from one point to another and consists of just a driver, a receiver, a differential pair or transmission line with a 100 ohm termination. The driver side has an always on current source that drives a nominal 3.5 milliamps of current through a differential pair. On the receiver side, the differential pair is terminated with a 100 ohm resistor. Since the impedance of the receiver is very high, all of the current effectively flows through the 100 ohm resistor. Ohm's law tells us that this will create a 350 millivolt potential across the differential lines. When a comparator has an LVDS output, its common mode is generally centered around 1.2 volts. From here, the outputs will have a plus or minus 350 millivolt swing centered at this common mode point. So for an example, an output high will show one of the differential lines, Q, having an output voltage of 1.375 volts, while the other line, Q bar, will have an output voltage of 1.025 volts. 
An output low would show Q having a voltage of 1.025 volts and Q bar having a voltage of 1.375 volts. An example of a comparator with an LVDS output is shown here. In this scope shot, channel 1 in blue is a signal tied to the non-inverting input pin, and channel 2 in red shows a signal tied to the inverting input pin. Channel 3 in green represents out P, or Q, and channel 4 in pink represents out N, or Q bar. The scope shot shown here has the outputs AC coupled, so the 1.2 volt common load is centered on the x-axis. When channel 2 is greater than channel 1 input signal, we can see that Q bar is high and Q is low. The differential voltage between these two outputs is roughly 350 millivolts as seen on the scope. When the inputs cross and channel 1 is greater than the channel 2 input signal, the outputs also toggle, and you can see now that Q is high and Q bar is low, but still maintaining a 350 millivolt differential voltage. Having a comparator with LVDS compatible outputs is beneficial in many applications such as LiDAR, time of flight, drone vision, as well as for test and measurement systems that typically have an FPGA or DSP that expects an LVDS signal in the back end. This helps simplify the system by having the comparator interface directly with the downstream FPGA or DSP instead of having to add something such as a high-end ADC to interface with all while maintaining the speed and data throughput necessary to be successful in these applications. In our next video in the series, we will be discussing optical time of flight applications and how a comparator with LVDS outputs can be used in a system. Thanks for watching.